Okay, so we've now moved into the small intestine. Um, small intestine, as we've said, is this sort of long muscular tube. So we're gonna use a pair of tights to represent our small intestine in this model we've got here. So in the small intestine, a couple of things happen. We need to neutralize the acid from the stomach. So to do that, it's a chemical called bile, which does that. Now bile is a sort of pale, greeny, yellowy liquid. It's produced in the liver, it's stored in the gallbladder, and then when food gets released into the small intestine, um, the gallbladder releases the bile in to sort of neutralise the acidic contents. Okay, so we're going to add a little bit of bile into there. Okay, we've also got the final breakdown of the food that we've eaten as well. So we've already started to break down the starch that we've eaten in the mouth. The proteins have started being broken down in the stomach. By the time we get to the small intestine, we need to sort of finish off that breakdown of the starch. We need to finish the breakdown of the proteins. And we also need to break down any fats that we've eaten. So the pancreas is an organ, sort of leaf-shaped organ, which sort of sits just to the side of the intestine. And it produces a substance called pancreatic juice. Now, pancreatic juice is a mixture of enzymes. It contains some more carbohydrate enzymes to break down carbohydrates, like starch. It contains protease to continue breaking down the proteins into amino acids and also contains lipase which breaks down lipids or fats so we're going to add a little bit of that into there okay let's get this off of here all right this is where it gets messy okay so we've got the food in the small intestine it's been broken down by enzymes so this is the final breakdown part and as it sort of passes through the walls of the small intestine squeeze it and absorb the nutrients. We can see the nutrients coming out here into the bloodstream. Okay, so the pink ball is the bloodstream. So the nutrients are coming out into the bloodstream and it continues passing down. And as it passes down, more and more of these nutrients are coming out. Okay, so the nutrients coming out. And then by the time we get to the large intestine, which is one of the last parts of the digestive system, all that's left in there is the waste products that we can't digest and excess water. So as it passes through the large intestine, we've got all the excess water coming out, being pulled up back into the bloodstream. Okay, back into the bloodstream. Okay, until we reach the end of the journey. And at this point, this is where you'd all be shouting out, it's the anus. Okay, so once we get to the end of the journey, we've got this sort of storage area within the large intestine, which is the rectum. The rectum is where the waste products are stored until you decide to go to the toilet. Okay, so... In the rectum, there's a small opening called the anus, and that's where the waste products, the poo, the feces, leave your body. And this happens periodically. You've got a sphincter muscle around the anus, which relaxes and opens. And when that opens, out comes the poo. Let's give it one final big squeeze to get as much out as possible. And there we have it, from food to poo. Okay, now we've watched the video, we're going to go away and fill in a couple of sheets. So there's a couple of worksheets to do. The first one is using the information to label the digestive system. So looking at all the different parts that we've talked about here. And then the second worksheet is just going through and sort of using the words on the sheet to fill in the gaps. Um, so you've got an understanding of what's happening where. Thank you for watching.